Let's make smothered lamb chops using Divine Cuisine's jerk rub. Hey y'all, so today we're gonna do a little bit of story time on how we're coming to what we're cooking today. So Mother's Day is coming up, so it gives you a little nostalgia of, you know, different favorite dishes that you grew up with with your grandma or your grandmother. And our top three in our house was my mom's linen pound cake, her mac and cheese, and also her smothered pork chops. Well, growing up, I've gotten older now, we don't do pork anymore. I don't eat pork anymore, but I still wanted that nostalgia of the smothered pork chops with the mashed potatoes and some vegetables. So I'm going to do a twist with lamb chops. So I'm gonna do smothered lamb chops using Divine Cuisine's Jerk Rub. So just to give it just a little kick to it. But yeah, so this is gonna still give me that great time, you know, that great meal that mom used to make for me um, with the smothered pork chops, me and my sister and my brother. But we're gonna do it with smothered lamb chops. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my lamb chops already cleaned and I have a little bit of olive oil in the, um, pan or in the bowl and then of course my green seasoning that I use on a lot of my meats to season so the green seasoning is just different herbs that we that I put together onions herbs garlic you can get the recipe at divinecuisine.com so we have some green seasoning we have some salt you know I love my seasoned pepper we have onion powder garlic powder, complete seasoning, and then Divine Cuisine's jerk rub or jerk seasoning. So I'm gonna put in a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Well, a teaspoon and a half, because I don't want it too spicy, but I do want it to have a little bit of a kick, a little flavor to it. So this is another way that you can use one of Divine Cuisine's products our jerk rub, our jerk seasoning, you, it, whichever way you, you know, have it, it's a, a jerk seasoning, jerk rub, where you can marinate your meat. And so now I'm just gonna mix all that together. This would be good if you could sit it aside, um, but for presentation um, time, we're gonna go ahead and cook them. But if you could sit this aside overnight or for a couple hours to make sure you get all that nice um, seasoning in there. And you guys leave me some, you know, leave me some comments. Let me know what your favorite Mother's Day dish is. What are you guys doing for Mother's Day? What brings you back to mom's house? But this was always a great thing. <laughs> me and my sister and my brother, we were always so happy when mom made that. And I even called them the other day and I was like, what was your favorite meals by mom? And we were all on the same thing. Mom's pound cake, her smothered pork chops meal, and you know, her mac and cheese. Those were our favorite things to eat from her, those were our treats in our house. So, I, and none of us eat pork anymore, including my mom, so it's kind of funny. So, this is just another way to still have that feeling of, you know, a, a family favorite in our house growing up. So I've just now, mar you know, got all the marinade and all the seasonings nice and combined. So it looks like this. So we're gonna go ahead and pan fry those and make my type of gravy, my mom is the expert of gravy. That's one of her signature things too. I mean, she can do a gravy. So I'm going to do a gravy my way with some peppers. So we're gonna do a little bit of a Caribbean uh, twist to how we do our gravy with our lamb chops. All right. Okay, y'all, yeah, so we're gonna pan here our lamb chops. We're pretty much gonna brown them, cook them a little bit, but then we're going to put them back into the gravy at the end and make sure that they finish cooking. Um, so we're gonna take these out, let them brown a little bit, then we'll have some fresh garlic we're getting ready to make using the same pan that we make our lamb chops in. So we're gonna turn down the heat just a little bit. And we have peppers, I have a, a 
bouillon cube, even the gravy. Then we're gonna make a little bit of a roux. I'm gonna put some flour in here. This will be our thickening agent. We're gonna add some butter. Stir all that together. I'm gonna put it on medium high heat because I turned it down because it was so hot and I didn't want you know the garlic just to start burning. So now I'm turning it back up to like medium to medium high heat. Beef broth, kind of the glaze. See yeah, so the gravy has thickened, so we're gonna go ahead and put our lamb chops back in here. Finish making our smothered lamb chops inspired by Mother's Day. Get some creamy mashed potatoes, because remember I told you it always came with mashed potatoes and a vegetable. So I have made some creamy mashed potatoes. And then we have our smothered lamb chops. broccolini because remember I said we had some vegetables on the side, whatever she decided to make at the time. And then we're going to do some more of that yummy gravy. And we're going to just pour some of that nice gravy with the peppers. And there you have it, smothered lamb chops. Going back to that feel of mom, being home with mom, when mom did the smothered pork chops. I'm super excited to go back in time and take these smothered lamb chops where I used the Divine Cuisine Jerk Rub, so it's gonna give us a little kick to it. But instead of doing smothered pork chops, I did smothered lamb chops, just to give me that nostalgia of what my mom used to make. So let's go in and taste them. Mm -hmm. They're nice and tender, y'all. Mm -hmm. I wanna look greedy and pick it up with my hand, but I'm gonna keep it ladylike. I can taste, it's nice, they're tender. I can taste that kick of the jerk rub, but it's not overpowering, but it does give it another depth of flavor. You know, with a little kick of spice, but you, you know, a little kick of spice, a little sweetness. I mean, it's just the perfect seasoning for these. Now I'm gonna taste a little bit of my creamy mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna throw, the, if I had a mic, I'll throw the mic down. I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna throw the fork down. Perfect, per, I mean, it brings me back to mom. Mom, if you watch him, I got that gravy down. You taught me how to do that gravy. It ain't as perfect as yours, but it's like 99.9%. .9 I got the gravy down. It's good, it's delicious, it's got the flavors in it. To get this recipe on how I smothered these pork chops with the peppers, the creamy mashed potatoes, the broccolini, this is a great dish and a great thing if you don't eat pork anymore. Just go ahead, girl, girl or guys, and smother you some lamb chops. To get this recipe and more, go to divinecuisine.com. To get our products, we're all over. We're on Amazon. You can buy us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. If you're in Atlanta, uh, if you're in Atlanta area at Buford's Farmer's Market. Don't sleep on these Divine Cuisine products. I have put so much into them. There's no preservatives. There's no artificial, uh, no, no artificial uh, flavorings. There's no artificial preservatives. I mean, it's very good for you. It's keto friendly, vegan friendly. So to get this um, and more, I have other products at divinecuisine.com or like I said, if you go on Amazon. But to get this recipe, go to divinecuisine.com. 
Love y'all. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there. Chef Shay. <laughs>